Hello and welcome. I'm Courtney Burgess and I'm here at Whitby Oshawa Honda where we've got city deals with a country feel. And today we're checking out this beautiful 2014 Honda Ridgeline in the sport trim level in a gorgeous crystal black pearl finish. This particular model comes to us with two keys and a clean car proof. And under the hood, we've got a 3.5 liter VTEC V6 engine matched to a five speed automatic transmission with grade logic control, capable of approximately 250 horsepower and 247 foot pounds of torque, with a towing capacity of 2,268 kilograms, not pounds. Awesome. We're also equipped with multi-reflector halogen headlights with auto off as well as fog lights. So you'll have no issues lighting your way. And as you see there, we've also got the gorgeous black front grille and black headlights and taillights. Very stylish. Coming around the side, you'll see we're riding atop 18 inch alloy wheels in black with power assisted ventilated front disc brakes and solid rear disc brakes. When it comes time to hop in, we've got the handy key with attached fob here on which we've got lock, unlock and panic buttons. So let's hop on in. Checking out the interior on our door, we have our power mirrors, locks and windows, including that back window you can see overlooking the truck bed. Inside, we've got a gorgeous black fabric interior with our six way manually adjustable driver seat, four way manually adjustable passenger seat. Beautiful leather wrapped steering wheel. Down below we've got our foot e-brake as well as a brake release for the uh, hand control. We've also got our hood release down there and our gas door release down here. So let's hop on in and take a closer look. Checking out our analog display with our center digital screen, we can scroll through all the information available there using controls just to the right of the steering wheel. But the main takeaway here 45,707 kilometers on this vehicle at this moment in time. To the left of the wheel, we have our lighting controls as well as our traction control and a hand brake release for the foot parking brake. All just right there. On the steering wheel itself, we have our mode or source for the music, channel and volume, as well as our cruise control settings right here. Over here by the buttons that I was adjusting the information on on that center digital screen, we also have our gear selector as well as our variable torque management lock there, which helps adjust the uh, torque power to the wheels. It's basically how many wheels you're driving with and where the power is going. Perfect if you're adjusting the terrain. Looking over at our center console, we've got our audio uh, system where we can choose from CD, AM, FM radio, auxiliary, all of your uh, controls there, including a big volume power button, just what you need when you really want to crank it up or immediately turn it down. Got a great little hiding spot in between there. And then below that, we've got our uh, climate control settings just right there. Just that easy. Coming down a little more, we've got two 12 volt power outlets, another little storage area and another little storage area just below. And as you see there, there's a little tray where the center console will extend out. As you can see there, this is one of the coolest little center consoles there. We've got our cup holders and it tucks all right in there. But we can grab this and push it out. Just extending how much uh, we can reach into and how much uh, the space needs to be divided. Perfect if you're bringing lots of big bags or something, you can just pull this back and they can sit right down there. It's great. So it's a pop that open. Perfect little shallow tray in there. Awesome. Over on the passenger side, we've got more of an open dash with our auxiliary input right there. And we also have a locking glove box beneath with all our manuals in there and tons of space. Looking up top, we've got interior lights as well as our sunglass holder right there and our illuminated vanity mirror for driver and front passenger. And with all this awesome stuff, I can't wait to see what else we've got in the back. Before we go check out the back though, I just wanted to point out our rear view camera mounted into our uh, rear view mirror. So whenever we put it into reverse, we don't have an interior screen, but your rear view camera pops up right on your rear view mirror. Perfect. 
Checking out the back seat now. Plenty of space for five passengers in here. As you can see, I've got the driver's seat moved as far back as possible. So you're guaranteed at least this much space. And in comparison, I have the passenger seat moved as far forward as possible, showing you how much space you can really stretch out in. Between the two front seats, we've got airflow vents extending the climate control to the back area, as well as a 12 volt power outlet. We've also got seat back pockets for both driver and passenger seat. If you don't quite need five seats or the ability to carry five passengers, we've got a few other options for you. We can pull down that middle seat to add armrests, cup holders, and a little bit of storage. We can also make use of the folding seats with the 60-40 split to fold them all up. And as you can see, there's plenty of space below for extra storage and also putting them up by simply pulling the handle and pulling it up and pushing it until it locks into place allows you to store things in the tall mode, making use of all the interior height of the cab. And you can adjust exactly as much as needed thanks to the 60-40 split. So let's check out the back now. Checking out the ridge line from behind, it's a simple matter whether we want to open it up this way. You have tons of room to tow, carry whatever you like in there, including tons of snow. You can also open up on the side right here under the ridge line to open it sideways. Plenty of room, making it easy to load however you need. And we've got the locking in bed secure storage. You can lift it right up once it's unlocked you've got this great hidden lockable storage and your temporary spare just down there and it's just too easy to load love it we've also got the back window that opens up and good sturdy bed construction there just awesome that's about it for your quick peek at this beautiful 2014 Honda Ridgeline in the sport trim level in a gorgeous crystal black pearl finish, but there's still so much more to see. And our friendly and knowledgeable sales staff would love to help find the perfect vehicle for you. So call, click, or come on into our showroom at Whitby Oshawa Honda at 300 Thixon Road South, just off the 401. Don't forget to check out our YouTube channel and subscribe to see more. I'm Courtney Burgess. Thanks for watching.